a shadow of a doubt that the Soviet Union was very interested in UFOs. It would not be surprising if saucers had crashed in the Soviet Union. This is so far the best footage that, of an alleged uh, crash UFO or a, a dead alien that I've seen so far. Separately, had initiated studies of UFOs. The KGB, as far as we know, had never ceased studying them. This Soviet Air Force footage was obtained by a group of Russian ufologists. It was declassified by the USSR's Ministry of Defense just before Boris Yeltsin took power. What we are looking at is a view from the cockpit camera of a MiG-23 flogger, scrambled to intercept two unknown targets. What we see now is an apparent merging of the two targets. Here is the same shot slowed down. These are obviously not typical flight characteristics of NATO or any other convention corresponds with Vereshagin's story. What we are looking at is the scene of the crash site in Beryozovsky as viewed by a camera on top of a military truck. The focal point of this scene is here and indeed appears to be a disc embedded in the ground. Here we see soldiers exiting the truck, led by a captain. The troops are met by another officer, this one a major, and then they join other soldiers and officers already on the scene. This footage is one of four reels of film acquired during our investigation. The two groups that have without question been exchanging information freely are the Russian and Western ufologists. It's with a, a sense of full cooperation that much of the formerly sensitive information is... All right, what's happening here is that they're using dissecting scissors to open up the sternum, which is a common procedure at that time. He's using the proper tool. The way they're holding and using the various tools looks correct which indicates to me these people know what they're doing. I would say there's little doubt that these are actual Russian medical people. Now, if you look closely at this procedure here, which is repeated several times in this footage, what they're doing is removing a piece of material. The one doctor refers to it as an organ or resembling an organ. Then the dean or snips off a small sample, which is placed in a specimen jar for later analysis. Well, that's exactly what would be done in a forensic case or in the case of scientific research, for instance, if, if some new species had been discovered.